Well, an immediate reaction there you can see across the board. Just been in the live room teaching Academy members and going in and out of the markets with new uh, positions, exiting old ones. What happened with inflation? Well, it came in hot. You've seen a pull down um, in dollar pairs. You've got real pound weakness, dollar strength, essentially in this case. So just pick this pair specifically to use as an example. But you can see really the reason why this is happening is because that dollar strength, i.e. rates not coming down as quickly as everyone would have imagined, uh, because of that inflation data. Okay, so that has taken you one, two, six, eight, all the way to one, two, six, big, big, big drop. And lots of traders now, like myself and many others, will be looking for that initial price reaction to take advantage of lower prices. Okay, you can see a somewhat very, very, you know, short term uptrend like this. You can see that because you've had one dip, two dips, tentatively moving to the upside. Um, before that as well, you had a big hit up here. Now I called it short this morning. Many of you would have seen that called pound Swiss short as well. Um, and you're now seeing that drop. So where would I like it long? Well, I think as you've just had that data, I think ultimately you may find that you come underneath uh, this previous candle wick. If I just swap to the daily, you can see it a little bit better here. Wouldn't be shocked at all if you drag down. But in the very near term, you may get an impulse reaction. So any entries you take to the long side now are going to have to be very small. And I would take very early exits just because you've got that sentiment now just come in um, that is weakening the pound, strengthening the dollar. Now, if you zoom out, you can see kind of more or less, and it's probably better seen on the weekly, you can see you've had sideways movement for a reasonable amount of time. OK, if you look at where you were up here, you had your peak, but you've stuck within this range for a while. So coming back around here and then finding that pound sentiments changes and dollar sentiment changes at the same time. In other words, people start to save pounds uh, as a preferred currency to the US dollar and therefore buying pounds and selling dollars is going to cause a move up. So I don't think that's going to occur yet. I think you may find yourself in line with this key price action level over here to the left and in the center and then back to it. But in the meantime, like I said, there's there's a chance for impulse scalp longs. So any trading activity now, essentially what I'm saying, if you're gonna buy something like this, it's got to be light and you've got to have those early exits. So if you shot up here, for example, you would look to kill that off very quickly. You've got to have that risk averse mindset when the volatility increases and you're trading anti-sentiment. In other words, the sentiment is against the way you want markets to go. Now, you've had the tentative rise over time because there's been that slowly waning US dollar and improved sentiment around the pound, sterling. OK, that's got you your higher highs and your higher lows. Could be the case, perhaps, that you stop just before this low and it's not so much sideways. It still continues its uptrending trajectory a bit like this. OK, so if you end up something over here, wouldn't shock me either. And then stopping around there in line with price action and then ultimately perhaps higher up. So really short rundown on the pound dollar there. Don't forget you can get my free training underneath and join my trading room as well. We're live now calling trades. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.